what is going on boys and girls of youtube i wanted to update the tier list today there's a patch that hit today it nerfed like green shaman buff and it nerfed a couple of the new buffed gods like apollo alts mana cost more pele generates less fuel just hit a couple gods not a crazy impactful patch but i wanted to update the tier list and when i say update i mean go back to the tier list i made right before the la the big patch hit and basically correct it is my overall goal here so that's what we're gonna do that simple that easy nothing else to it i do need to blow up uh <laughs> this to full screen just want to shout out corsair because uh they're dropping something new in five days no no no, sorry seven days six days seven days seven days from now there's something dropping use my link i'll talk about it when i can i've already used the you know what it is um it's a big deal it's very 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 top tier so sort of shout it out and hint at it now because i'm not allowed to say too much i don't even know if i'm allowed to say that but besides the point tier list time so we're here we're looking at the tier list we're gonna just we're gonna correct it we're gonna fix it we're gonna put things to where they should be okay so al kwong and ss tier is 100 percent this is accurate ability al kwong and there's an ability aa build going around and they both farm now full damage quang out of the soul lane i think you're kind of trolling out of the jungle very very good baka sura we gotta move baka i do think he's still very good i just don't think he's having the impact that i originally assumed he would have so i'm going to move baka sura down here um yeah, so Baka moved. Hopefully, I can keep track of all of these. I really, you know, it's kind of difficult. Karan for ranked. Yes, I understand it at a competitive level. He's like 0-4 in the last tournament they had. At a ranked level, he's unstoppable. It's the best guardian and one of the best gods in the game. Kali, I think, is a little overrated. I'm not even sure if her win rate has gone up and down, but I have noticed that she's just not performing into this current meta as well as I originally expected. Yes, I realized she had a really high win rate before. She did get nerfed in that patch i didn't think it would do very much seems like it's done a little bit still think she is definitely playable uh for sure so i'm gonna drop her down i'm actually gonna move baka to here just so i can keep track of the gods that i moved around pele it received a nerf today small nerf to that fuel gain still think pele is top top tier it's i ban pele and car on every game and then thoth thoth is very very good i think ss tier was a little over the top from me um not quite not quite as s in in my books right now just really not there on her i think being an s tier is perfect i love honors just having a, a great time currently in smite apollo i think apollo could be argued down to a plus but i do like him in just a general sense his map presence is really dominating most of the time he saw a slight nerf to his alt where it costs more mana now they because in the when they buffed him you know not today's patch the patch before they made it so his mana consumption on his alt was super low uh we're gonna leave him in s tier though i think for now i think he's it's arguable you can move him down but i like him in s tier arachne i underrated arachne um her win rate is spiking her ban rate is spiking. She's probably going to be if she is not currently the highest win rate god in the game. Like she's going to be. The two change was way more impactful than I thought. The three change is still pretty irrelevant. The old change was a nice quality of life change. That two change changes everything. People are like, whoa, 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 how? How? It's two autos, three autos. So Arachne's swing timers. If you know anything about the gods in Smite, they have swing timers. Meaning they have an attack chain where it's like a one, two, three, and then reset. Then one, two, three, reset. Arachnes is one, two, big wind up, three. So you eliminate the big wind up. So you just get the one, two really fast because you're getting even more attack speed from your two. So it's just one, two, boom. It's instant. It's basically an instant stun. Nobody can react to it. And that is enough of a swing where you're not able to react to the Arachne stunning you. You just kind of get stunned and take a ton of damage. That Arachne either makes the person die instantly or run away. And at lower levels, it's even more dominating than at higher levels. So you're just running through everybody. At high levels, it's still dominating. We have Ares. I think Ares in S tier is great. Counters a ton of the picks. Is an insane god right now overall with the buffs, with the items and everything. I like Ares in S tier. Baba Yaga in S tier, I like. Bastet in S tier, I still like. Chernabog, I think S tier was a little over the top. I'm going to move Chernabog down to A+. Very good god, but not dominating as I expected you know remember when i made this original tier list it was before it was from just playing on pts it was before the patch hit 
So that's that. Freya and S tier is still dominant force in the dual lane. I love Freya and S tier. Geb is still dominant. Um, somebody was arguing me a little, not ar I say arguing, but like talking to me about it last night um, where they didn't think see Geb as often. I think it's because people find Geb to be boring. Like they think, oh, that's a boring God where Geb is actually just nuts right now. He's insane. Heimdall and S tier. I think Heimdall is still crazy. Uh, maybe, maybe a little over the top. I'll move him down to A plus just to be fair. Because uh, I really haven't seen him played a ton because people just, for some reason, playing Heimdall is a struggle for a lot of people. They do not recognize that they have to keep removing the three, like basically placing it, you know, in new safe spots over and over again while they're rotating and everything else. So they just aren't safe enough on Heimdall Heimdallier when they should be hyper safe. Janus S tier, if you're good at Janus, he's up here. Honestly, I'm like... I think I'm going to move Janus up to SS tier. This is if you play Janus correctly. This isn't just anybody. King Arthur, I think we got to move down. Um, I believe he is good. I don't believe he is dominant. I think there's a lot of other gods. I'm probably going to move some other warriors up. Mercury and S tier, I still think is nuts. Uh, Spectral is just not doing enough. Mercury is still farming. Nuwa, I think, was a little over... Uh overestimated for me just a little bit a little bit overestimated gonna move new down to a plus i think osiris was definitely overestimated by everybody i was saying when we were going over the patch notes and going over the this uh tier list that i think a warriors are being overhyped i do think osiris is very good don't get me wrong but he still has the same issue he's always had once he hits that late game slash hyper late game he falls off incredibly and doesn't do enough just kind of dies so he's going to move down to A plus for me. Still is going to stay the same. Soul, I'm going to move down. She's not even being played a lot. She's definitely not dominating. I really expected more from mannequins, but I think most people aren't even building mannequins when they play her. That's just where we're at. Susano, S tier still, he's going to stay. So Achilles, I haven't really seen anything change for him. He's still doing very good. So he's going to stay A plus. Agni still having a solid gameplay. Going to stay A plus. Ama. I'm going to receive the most buffs out of everybody. And I, you know, the fact that Osiris didn't really compete to me in S tier that I moved him down. You'd think Ama would probably move up, but she's not. I like her kit and I like the buffs they made, but it doesn't compete as a warrior into the each stage of the game. I think Ama's good. I think A plus is a good place for her. I don't think S tier is where she should be. Artemis ability build Artemis not a build I still think he's a plus like it a lot stomps dominates lame Athena we're gonna move up Athena is a slight misplace not really like, like we're rarely off uh, Athena's win rate spiked from the three slow I said I play when I, I tested this months ago before the patch hit with high res and I said that three change is insanely impactful like I you could feel it I didn't think, and I meant just like an overall Athena sense. You, it feels better in the kit. It's much more impactful in the kit than the one slow. When I say insanely impactful, I don't mean she's going to stomp everybody in the game, but she is having a great time currently. I think it's a mix of the fact that it makes her more annoying um, in a kit that usually has really long cooldowns. It's easy to get cool down right now because Pridwin is super strong. And then on top of all that, her map presence with her ultimate giving movement speed was what I underestimated the most that movement speed change allows for jungle ganks just to be a hundred percent like every jungle gank that has an athena alt on top of them is free so we're gonna move athena up to s tier i really really like athena i don't think i'd ban be banning her but s tier is perfect bacchus i think he's performing great cern kind of the same spot chrono same spot kakulin same spot most of these gods haven't moved haven't you don't you're not seeing them underperform or overperform Fafnir, really good still. Ganesh, great. So one of my favorite supports right now outside of Athena and Geb. Hachi still doing okay. I've seen him semi fall off. Um, fall off might not be the right word, but but I've seen him not really get played as much and definitely not be as dominant when he's played. So I kind of want to move Hachi down for ranked. I think I'm going to. Hebo, solid nerf to his one. So a couple months ago, they buffed Hebo's one and made it a two second cooldown or three second cooldown for whatever reason. With the bow in the game, it basically made Hebo's one on no cooldown. So they nerfed Hebo by upping his one back to four seconds. It was basically a revert. So I don't think he's going to fall down at all. I think he's still going to be A+. Plus. And honestly, he maybe he should be S tier with the bow. I think he's very, very good. And his damage is crazy. I did watch a 
uh, one of our sub league matches and the person played Hebo and they weren't doing damage. Your build right now as mages is very, very important. Okay. If you're going low power build, you will not kill people. If you're playing new wall and you're not going soul gem with a high power build, you're not going to kill people. You need the right builds on the right mages. So please go out of your way to look up and figure out what's working for high level players and don't just build random stuff because it's insanely impactful. My Hebo build, I at late game, once I'm full build, if I 3-1 somebody, it's over 2,000 damage. If I 3-ult somebody, a squishy, they're instant dead. The dude I watched in sub league was full build, late game Hebo, and his 3-1 ult didn't kill a squishy. Your build needs to be right when you play these mages, please. Horus, I'm going to leave an A+. It's still like Horus. His pen shred, he's just super strong. Really, really high map presence. Eshell, hard god to play. People struggle at her just because it's difficult, but she does so much damage. Izanami, great lane clear. She's going to stay where she's supposed to be. Yorm, still there. Capri, still there. Kakolkin, probably the most underrated uh, mage currently in Smite. I love Kakolkin. Good Kakolkin players just stomp. Kuzimbo, still in a good spot. Very annoying. Good harass. Martikaris, we saw his nerf. And before he was SS tier, had to be banned. We saw him get nerfed. He lost 48% scaling off of his ultimate. It's a lot of scaling. It's a lot of damage. I said it wouldn't be enough to kill him. He'd probably still be very, very good, but I'd move him down to A plus just to be safe. We're moving him back up to S. Martikaris is doing so much damage despite the nurse that it's irrelevant. He was doing too much damage before. So now his damage is just insanely good rather than completely broken. And he's going to stay in S tier for now. They can get, and they just nerfed him again. I believe they nerfed the cooldown. No, they nerfed his three. His three has last short, it's a shorter amount of time. So it used to last for three minutes when you put grass down. Now it lasts for two minutes. Still just a nutty gun. You're not going to be able to convince me otherwise until he can't, you know, half health you off of one itty combo as a hunter. Merlin's going to stay. Morgan Le Fay, I'm going to move up. I love Morgan Le Fay in mid right now. Uh, Najah's gonna say the same not quite as OP as a lot of people pretend she is or she he hit whatever Najah's not as good as people want him to be good CC the cooldown of the food and the items aren't really making Naja super crazy strong really determined the game is kind of determined on her for her for him why don't you say hammer Naja has to snowball to have a really good game okay Nike gonna say the same Nike's at a really high win rate raw People struggle with positioning on Raw, so we're going to leave him in A+. Good Raws, though. Man, it's nuts. Raijin. This is probably the biggest misplacement, I think, out of everybody. Uh, Raijin's SS tier. I said when I placed Raijin, when I was on PTS, nobody good had played Raijin. I wasn't trying to be mean. I'm just saying I hadn't seen a top-level player play Raijin. Now that I've played against good players on Raijin, the damage he's outputting and his cooldown on his abilities is extremely over the top um i've had pro players come in my chat and we were talking about stuff and they've pretty much said raijin's a top two god in the game even at a competitive level so raijin's gonna say an ss rama i like rama a lot enough to move him up i slightly underestimated the purple the extra purple attack speed but it just makes rama that much stronger because it's a pure aa god now hitting even harder able to have an open slot because of the extra attack speed Rat, I like an A+. Ravana has had a pretty big fall off. He's going to stay A+. Serket, I think I has overrated her. Um, she just doesn't feel good. There's no builds and nothing that feels good on her right now. Set's going to stay. Shiva's going to stay. Sobek's going to stay. Wukong. I don't think Wukong is ban worthy, but I do think he's stronger than I made him out to be. He has an insanely easy laning phase, and he's doing a lot of damage. So we're going to move him up to S. Thanatos. I usually put Thanatos in this A plus tier. He just ends up there a lot in a lot of tier lists because he's risky. But right now that risk is insanely limited with, if you've seen, I did a video where I went over the number one Thanatos. We watched him play. He uses a unique build. Well, that build with the new food eliminates that whole like risky Thanatos gameplay. You can miss your one on Thanatos with this build to just auto twice late game and they're dead. You're autoing and crit. You run a crit late game crit item, uh, crit items. You're critting for 700, 800. I think Thanatos is probably the best stomp and hard carrier game throughout the whole match god for ranked. So if you're solo queuing jungle and you're just trying to just farm through everybody and make sure you are the dominant force, I think Thanatos is best at that. 
I don't think I'm ever banning Thanatos because I it's just very easy to play around if you know how to play around him, but most people don't. So if you know how to play him, exploit him. Run the build. Uh, I believe they're still running Golden Blade. You've got Bow for extra cooldown. He is pumping. I love Thanatos right now. Thor, I'm going to leave an A+. His nerfs weren't a lot, but he doesn't have the best time into a lot of these team comps. That's the best way I can explain it. He just had, when it's grouping time, he's not doing the best. Not bad, not great. Tiamat's going to stay the same. Shibalanke is doing fairly well right now, so my A+. Plus ranking was actually correct. Uwag, I think, is stomping right now when played correctly. His one hits so hard. So hard. So we move Serket down. We move Hachi down. Apwash in A tier. If you see me playing a lot of games lately, Mindy's been playing Apwash every single game. He likes it a lot. Does a lot of damage. Still a difficult god to play because he can be dope. So we leave him in A. A Wheelix, still a mostly, I won't say mostly counter pick, but, you know, mostly just middle of the pack god. Baron's going to stay the same. Bologna, overrated. I said this when I put Bologna in A. People were like, A plus, A plus. I was like, I'm going to put her in A and we'll see because I think A Warriors are going to be bad again and we're just being bamboozled. I was right. A Warriors aren't stomping through the brackets. I'm sure there's going to be some comment. Well, in my games, I'm I'm popping off on Bologna. Post, when you post that, whenever you tell me how good you are, post your in-game name so we can go and look it up and do a review video where we review all you guys who apparently pop off every game. Because from my experience, you all have 50% win rates. You don't pop off every game. Occasionally, you pop off, and that's the only game you remember. Kabraken got a nerf. So with the patch, when I did this, he got a major buff. Not as a jungler. Pretty much every other role got buffed, though. Solo lane, support, wherever, right? As a tankier guy. Well, everyone realized it was over the top, and they kind of moved him. They kind of nerfed him a little bit. A little bit. He generates less mana from his two, and his three is now on a four-second cooldown instead of a three-second cooldown. I believe. Maybe it's a five-second cooldown instead of a three-second cooldown. They both, they nerfed that one or two seconds. He's still... he. I should have placed him in A+, plus originally, but we're going to leave him where, you know... Despite the nerfs, we're putting him in A+, plus, essentially. And we're going to leave him there. Cam is going to stay. Not really much movement. Honestly, you could probably move Cam down, uh, and I wouldn't argue it. Chunga is going to stay. Chiron's going to stay. Cleo has been doing a lot of damage out of the jungle. So I like Cleo. I'm going to leave Cleo, or move her up, actually. Danza is going to stay. Disco, I am going to move up. I think Disco's damage is really, really valuable right now. Plus, that extra power buff from her is nuts. Fender is going to stay. Way too risky. Just doesn't work out into most comps. Gilgamesh not doing enough. Guan not doing enough. Hera not doing enough. Herc not doing enough. Ho Yi still has the clear problem despite Gooseberries. It just takes too long to get Gooseberries online. Ho Hunbats, just an ult bot. And even then, his ult isn't that good compared to a lot of other ults like Suzano. Just Suzano's kit versus Hunbats. Come on. Xing Wei is going to stay. Loki, I really expected to start performing at some point this year, and he's just not. Maui underperforming Medusa can only be played as med ability Medusa and it's just not strong enough. Her clear sucks. Mulan's going to stay the same. Neath. I think Neath is a little bit better than I give her credit for. If you play as a team, if you're in a game with a Neath and you don't gank the Neath lane, you gank every other lane, let that Neath ult into the fights, she stops. She's doing a lot right now. So I like Neath. Nemesis, I'm moving down. I think Nemesis is underperforming. I We haven't had Nemesis be good all year, and I don't know if she's going to be. They've over-nerfed her. They keep trying to buff her back into existence, and it's not working. Nox, I like Nox a lot. I'm going to leave her in A. Olorun, a good counter to Freya, oddly enough. You see a lot of Olorun into Freya for whatever reason. But outside of that, not a good god, other than that one matchup. Poseidon, I think he's okay. He's just not enough. His mobility's low. His team fight presence is good early, but falls off once Aegis's are online. Scotty still performing the same. Sylvanas performing the same. Terra performing the same. Tier performing the same. Ul not really doing too much. Vulcan not safe enough. Shing Ten, borderline. You know you're at your you're middle of the pack support. Yamoja ults on too long of a cooldown. Yamir, I'm actually gonna move down. He's too easy to kill and just doesn't do enough. No matter how good you are at Yamir, it's usually how bad is the other team when you play Yamir, not how good is the Yamir player. Anubis. Comp has to be built around keeping that Anubis alive. Uh, good peel, Gebs in the comp, that kind of stuff will, will make Anubis work, so you have to build it around it. Same with Aphrodite. You have to make sure you can sit on top of the Aphro and keep her alive and just extend those team fights. Atlas has been underperforming, so he's going to stay B tier. Serb. He's okay. He's playable. Chalk. He's seeing some more gameplay off the buffs. I still think he's bad. Cribdis, bad. Cupid, no clear. Dodgy, auto attack canceling is bugged. E set doesn't have a good lane to play in. Hades, I'm gonna move up to A. I think the Hades placement into B was a little low. Solid solo laner, doing pretty good. Hell, 
whole team comp has to be played and built around her. Lancelot, he just dies too quickly. Odin doesn't do enough because they made it too easy to get out of his ultimate. He's going to stay B tier because he is still a counter pick to healers and low mobility gods. Morgan, the Morgan, not one shotting as easily because they nerfed power a while ago. So she's going to stay B tier. She can still be played, but it's just the right time, the right place. Sugiyomi not doing enough damage with his ultimate and the rest of his kit can really just be stopped. Um, you know, if you're on top of it, Sugiyomi can't go anywhere. You can interrupt this too. It's hard to play. Zeus really, really, really needs a survive comp. Has to be everyone keep the Zeus alive for him to get through and, and play a game correctly. AMC, I'm going to move up. I think B tier is a little bit better. It's hard to play. If you know you're in a lane that's easy, you know, if, if your matchup against the jungler and the ADC is survivable essentially you know you can play and not get ganked on cooldown amc you can be played if not don't play mc rdo not doing enough cthulhu way too easy to kill once he goes in all form everyone targets him erlong shen just sucks ever since they removed his knockup kumba needs to be moved up i think kumba should be a tier he has been very very good in my rankings the root paired with the mez is actually really valuable in team fights he's super good at just making your team land their abilities which is what i like about him so i'm gonna move him up to a tier persephone still underperforming she just doesn't do enough her full kit dump is a decent amount of damage but then she just sits there and dies she's out of position and she has the worst passive in the game Surter sucks I'm, I'm gonna hopefully watch the number one Surter either tonight or tomorrow and put a video up but so i still think Surter sucks Mamana, ever since they nerfed his ult into the ground he is worthless jean queen i okay i was wrong I said someone else was my most off, like Wukong was one of my most off placements. Zhang Kui was the most off placement. Not tank Zhang Kui. Not hybrid Zhang Kui. Not mage build Zhang Kui. Do not build those. Those are all still C tier. However, Zhang Kui. I gotta, I gotta scroll up. Not A tier. Not A tier. Zhang Kui. AA build with Manic. Have to have mannequins into telkines into hastened into demonic into cyclopean into typhon sphinx right wait how many items there? i don't know that the builds on my source it will farm you mmr i promise you it will farm you mmr it is so easy to play it does so much damage it wins lane in duo it wins jungle it wins solo it wins mid Mid's the hardest one to get away with, it, though. Like, to be completely honest, mid is easily the hardest. Run it, win your free games, and then come comment in here at how good it is. Because every game I've run it, I have stomped. I'm talking, I'm up three, four, five levels. Nobody can play the game. I can run anybody down. It is insane for ranked. You're not going to see it in competitive play. I keep tweeting, trying to get the competitive players to play it. They're not going to play it. But it is nuts. Absolutely nuts for ranked. I promise you. Okay. Absolutely nuts. So this is, I think we're on, I don't, what patch are we on? I know we're on 10.9 with the last patch, but now since we have the update, how do they, how do they label these? It's just bonus. Um, 10, oops, 10.9 bonus tier list. So tier list is updated. It'll be on smite source. I'll drop a link. It'll be in the, the description. It's here. Go check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have any uh, comments, concerns, questions? Let me know. You guys haven't been commenting much lately. I don't know if it's just the time of year or what. Comments falling off. Let, let me know you're here. Let me know you guys are still watching. Uh, appreciate you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Those are two simple things you can do to support me. And it goes a long way. So I really do thank those of you who have done it. Or those of you who are going to do it after this video. Appreciate you guys. I will see you in the video later tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day.